Alex, ready? Bruno fight Silva's time. in the white, riding a seven fight win streak into this matchup. You're not going to see many middleweights with a frame like Alex Pereira. Yeah, six for the reach. Clinch early, Pereira out of it. Similar attributes to our champion in this weight class, yep. Adesanya. Long, rangy, accurate, powerful. Big rush there from Bruno Silva. Nice little front kick to the ribs there from Beheda. And that's probably going to be the path that Bruno Silva is going to pull off the upset, right? Make it dirty. Yeah, standing here on the outside against Pajeda is dangerous. Oh, big shot from Silva. And you would think Paul Silva wants Pereira fighting off of the back foot. Yeah, but he's got to be careful. Both guys got hit there, but I saw that chin of Pereira. Snap back, he's got to be careful. He does like to hold his hands a little low. He's got a crazy reach, so it works to his advantage most times. But the way Bruno Silva is rushing in with these big shots, like that, he's got to be careful. But yes, Brendan, I would imagine pressure him forward. Get him moving backwards, because you see the kicking game of Pajeda right. early on. Stays busy with it, tacking the legs, going to the body. That's harder to do moving on the back foot. See, right here he can settle. Prod with that front kick, yep. throw his round kicks, and keep his distance. Oh. Silva goes up top unsuccessfully. Silva working southpaw right now. Under two minutes to go, first round. Nice. Good awareness there from Silva to chop after that leg. Get a read on where the positioning was of Pajeda. First takedown attempt for Silva, and he gets it. Pajeda with the neck right there. Just going to use that to try to get back up to his feet. Let's see if Silva can keep him down here. First takedown since joining the UFC for Bruno Silva. <laughs> this would be the fight to do it, huh? Yeah, Pereira up to a knee, though. Yeah, it looks like he's nice. And now you see Silva's laced around that leg of Alex Pereira. Nice work here from Silva. Nice knees. Pereira back to distance. Oof. Trying to split the guard. Unable to do so. Final 30 seconds of round one. Pereira starting to sense something. Power right cross. And yeah, he's starting to open up here. Knee up top. Pereira Silva. starting to feel it, put things together, running out of time in round one. 
Second round coming up. Stop. Oh, and fight. LFA Plus, get ready for UFC 273 with the world's largest fight library. Only on UFC Fight Pass. Second round Let's underway, go. the corner of Alex Pereira, specifically Glover Teixeira, saying more two-punch combinations. He really started putting it together in the final 20 seconds. Yeah, he was starting to tee off up against the fence. But he's got to be careful. If he starts letting them go in too many numbers, you're going to see Bruno Silva just bite down and rip back with a counter. And that's sometimes when you can get caught. You get a little too excited, you start throwing big punch combinations, and you leave your chin out there to be attacked. Total strikes, Pereira 36, Silva 24. So the edge for Pereira and largely the difference was that last flurry. Loads up on that left hook, Silva out of the way. Silva chased that takedown late in the round and got it with about a minute to go. We'll see if he goes back to the well on that one. Yeah, you see Pereira doing good work here, starting to attack the body as well. Nice counter right there from Pereira. Oh, dips to the body. A good liver shot there. I mean, Bruno Silva is by no means out of this. He is in this fight. Still a knockout threat. He is throwing bigger combinations. Yep. But the accuracy, I would say, is on the part of Pereira. Oh, oh big right. <laughs> Between these two gentlemen, the knockouts is crazy. I mean, 19 knockouts yeah. for Bruno Silva. And all three of his UFC appearances have ended with him winning by knockout. And we've seen it happen later in a fight. So yep. to say that, okay, well, he's getting touched up at certain points. Nice down. timing on that takedown there from Silva. And again, this is just the sixth mixed martial arts fight for Alex Pereira. Looks to be well-rounded, and he's learning from the best. But once you're in there, it's a whole different... Uh, yet again, though, right back up to his feet, spending almost no time down there, giving up zero control time. I mean, maybe the first round a bit, but this time, right back up to his feet. Yep. Now he's getting control on the fence, but better than on his back. What decisions will Silva make here? Not a lot of activity. Loads up with the leg there. Perhaps some dirty boxing would be a good approach here from Silva. Start trying to. Ooh, Try to attack. spin. Not enough space in between. A knee to the body, right hook, and an uppercut from Silva. And Got to watch the knees, though, from Pieda. Knee to the body. Silva thought about another takedown. Instead, they clinch. Nice work there to get out of the fence from Pajeda, turning the head and then immediately attacking. Head, body, leg strikes, double digits for Pajeda. Oh, mean left hook there. Double digits at all three levels, I should say. The jab there from Silva. Pretty competitive fight, though, between these two guys. Yeah, Silva's hanging in there. Oh! Pereira has loaded up with that lead left hook. And Silva's been there for the counter several times. Maybe something he saw watching tape. Silva going oh, over that Pereira. time. Getting cracked a couple times there by Silva. There's that flying knee. Almost caught him. Oh, big shots now. Nice Silva work there. Fire. And he covers a lot of distance so yeah, effortlessly with that. But Bruno Silva coming right back, landing his own shots here at the end of the second. 
goes to the ground. Pereira down for the last few seconds. Third round's coming up. Stop. Oh. Got six foot seven striker Alexander Volkov in the main event. Wall to wall on ESPN Plus. Early main card start time of 4 p.m. Eastern. As they go prime time at the 0-2. Silva's corner saying you gotta box him, but instead he goes in for a takedown after a combination. How about that? Best defense of the fight so far for Pededa. Yeah, that was a good sprawl, and now he's got Bruno Silva up against the fence. This is where he's done some of his best work with his boxing combinations, and always dangerous with the knees. <laughs> I'll tell you, Bruno Silva has landed some solid leg kicks yeah. when he's let them go against Pereira. And being as long and as tall as he is, that's a good target to go after. The striking numbers are in favor of Pereira. Total strikes 91 to 51 right now, but it is one of those fights where you can make a case because of the that takedown. Silva got around in the first two and that it'll come down to these final four minutes now. You see some differing scorecards on Twitter we showed you earlier in this round. He was thinking about it. You could tell the way he was angling to his right. Pretty boxing here from Pereira. This is just great MMA experience for Pereira. Yep. To be in there against somebody like Silva, who's a knockout artist, doesn't get knocked out, if, if it goes to that point, I'm saying. But it, he's in here having to work. He's getting pushed. Get taken down twice, get up twice. Yeah. Nice. Trying to pick the ankle there. I'm, I'm impressed with Pejeda's grappling ability to get back up to his feet at least. But that will be challenged against a far better grappler. You know what I mean? Bruno Silva's a knockout right, artist. He's not himself. known for his grappling. Now they separate. Pejeda going back to work. And there he is. You can see when he starts dancing a little bit, starting to find it. <laughs> Ripping load up. shots. A right cross. Oh, he's got him wobbled now. Pereira has him against the fence. Now he's teeing off and now forced to defend the takedown again. Oh, he's hurt. He does so, and Silva is in a world of trouble. You think Pereira just needs to separate here? Yeah, he's got to let go. Nice knee to the body, though, and that's softening up Silva. Elbow. Elbow on the break, ripping the body in an uppercut. Silva showing some toughness, but he's getting teed off. Silva right is covering up, and Pereira is foot on the gas pedal. Oh my now goodness. Silva's punching back. Silva's tough. Another takedown attempt. Pereira e easily able to sprawl out of that. Silva is still on wobbly legs, but still punching. And can Silver survive? I, he's showing a lot of toughness and durability in there and still swinging back. A lot of heart from Bruno Silva, but he's getting pieced up pretty good here from Pajeda in this third round. Look for the elbow, right elbow. Oh, hands locked, and he does get it to the mat. Just Still trying. Momentarily, but he gets outside position out of that exchange. Problem with a takedown right now. Ooh. Oh wow! Let's go of it and land some bombs of his own. Bruno Silva starting to throw back. I like the hard roll here in the final 15 oh, seconds. He just broke his nose. Backs him up again. 
Pereira oh. trying to find the finishing touch now to the body. Three seconds left. Oh, and another shot from Silva in return. Gotta love the action between these two Brazilian knockout artists, but each of them tough enough to go the distance as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three have it 30 27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Alex Porto!